Hey guys, Chris Miffer here. Welcome today to a new video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how Chris, uh, how Sugar Conroy makes his little Pokemon information stuff. So uh, I'm going to make this video into like maybe four parts or something. This will be part one. So basically, why this video, uh, why this series will be so long is basically because uh, Sugar Conroy actually changed his software. Uh, I do not deny or confirm any of this information. This is just from a really random source that I got. So I may be wrong. It's from Wikipedia answers. So go figure. So according to Wikipedia answers, before the Wind Waker, he actually used Camtasia Six, um, Camtasia Studio basically, Camtasia Studio Six. And after the Wind Waker, uh, as well as the Wind Waker, he used uh, um, what is that called? He used Sony Vegas Pro Nine, if I'm not wrong. So it's basically the two software he uses to make all uh, to make all his videos. So I'm going to show you guys how he makes his little information things before Wind Waker using Camtasia Studio. So basically here's a little clip I made, watch. Alright, so that's basically um, a good idea of a little clip you can use. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, I, uh, here's the actual layout of what happened. Alright, so basically go start up uh, PowerPoint, Microsoft PowerPoint point and just you know add in all this cool stuff like uh, this little text boxes and stuff to take the name and then the little evolution charts and stuff and the Pokemon obviously and the name of the Pokemon and stuff like that. You can make this definitely much more aesthetically beautiful than I did but you know as uh, rush for time. Anyway so to make all this little box, uh, to make all this really cool puzzly sh stuff, well, it's not really cool, but it's puzzly. I actually combined, I actually combined three, three different boxes together, as you get, as you can see from here. So it's basically just one big box over here, one a middle, medium, medium sized box, and one small box over here to make this little uh, puzzle piece, which actually joins up to this puzzle piece and this puzzle piece over here, which is something that Sugar Conroy does, and I find it's quite aesthetically beautiful. So I decided to just do it too. So basically this. Uh, next, you're gonna go into animations and just hit the various stuff to make the different animations. So for example, I hit this one first, I click, I made fade in, like this, so that'd be first and second. I heighted all the different uh, text boxes here and then I just uh, click this one. I heighted every single text box here and I just uh, turn them to fly in, like this, uh, using uh, from bottom, right? So that's basically how I did it. So after that, um, so now once you're done making all the aesthetically beautiful stuff here, you wanna go and start up uh, Camtasia recorder but I can't set it up now because I'm actually recording as we speak as you can see over here so basically all you have to do is open this up uh, hit F5 oh sorry hit shit sorry hit shift F5 and you go into the PowerPoint presentation just click start and just start making the animations and stuff roll in and stuff alright so once you've captured it into an AVI file like this one over here you are ready to roll now open up Camtasia Studio which is what I'm going to do right now and let it load. I'm using Camtasia Studio 7. Uh, if you have 6, I'm sure that's fine because that's what Sugar Conroy used to make it before Wind Waker. Alright, uh, close. So, <coughs> drag in your uh, little info sheet and then find some footage and drag that. Uh, find some footage of a recording and drag that in too. So, let's find something like that. Uh, you know what? Find another thing since I can't find anything better. So just dump that in here. All right. So now that's done. Let's drag in the Naga Tank footage and uh, recording dimensions. Click OK. All right. Let's say you wanted that portion over this portion over there. I'm talking about the Naga Tank. You're gonna put in some Pokemon information. So right click on Pokemon and click Add to PIP Video, which stands for Picture in Picture Video. So click on that and click Preview the PIP track as on top of the video track. Click OK. And so you see it over here. Now you can you're free to move this around and also adjust it to the size of the screen. Obviously, I didn't record this. Uh, when I record this, well, my video wasn't exactly appropriate for this uh, recording, so there's a lot of black bars and stuff. Um, you can of course include borders. You can fade in and fade it out and stuff like that. But basically, um, you want to try to make try to record it such that it's actually the size of the screen, or you can just resize it and take away the black bars later on. The other thing is also when you're recording, you must take note of how big your bio will actually be so that you can record it appro uh, appropriately, if not, stuff like this would uh, happen and you get really ugly stuff. Anyway, let's just show you what happens, so I click play. So as you can see, um, <coughs> it transitioned from this to that, 
from this to the PIP video and find it back out again. Alright, so thanks for watching part 1. This is basically how uh, Shaq Conrad did his first few um, LPs and all the information for the Pokemon until Wind Waker according to my information source which is Wiki Answer so I didn't trust it too much. So, of course, this is not perfect, it's really horrible and stuff, and it's really aesthetically ugly, but you can spend hours on it and make it really nice and have it up to standard. Alright, so thanks for watching my video, I hope you guys learned something from it, and have a nice day.